gentlemen back. Smoking Wax is back. And our first guest, I got to my left, my man Vernon. Uh, Talk about me now. Yeah, so I'm gonna let you know what? It's only out of respect. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself before I do that, though. I want to give a shout out to everybody in the room right now. We got my boy Huey on the right. We got uh, guest host Free Willie in here. We got Gerardo on the keys. And we'll, yeah, yeah, co-host. I said guest host. So, yeah, my bad. My bad, co-host. co-host. Boy. Always on this bench. It's no been reason. a minute. It's been a minute. My bad. I'm getting I'm getting my gears lubricated real quick. And we got Flighty in the house, too, man. So, uh, yeah, we finna get this shit started. Uh, so, Vernon, tell the people about yourself a little bit, man, because I, I don't want to be the one to just sit there and talk about you, but I just want to say you a dope individual, bro. So let these people let I these people you. know about your dopeness, bro. So um, my name is Vernon. I am a photographer slash videographer. I also do graphic design. It's been in the game for like three years now. Finally going strong, like I said, trying to get it out there, trying to help everybody and different people succeed. You know, we all got to stick together, try to build, you know. No, nah, I respect that. So what made you want to get into a videography? Like, but fuck, anything that involved a camera, what made you want to do that? Like, what what was like, I'm going to pick this camera up and I'm going to take on this art form? Because it's it's definitely a, a art form for, for people who have a certain eye. You know what I mean? Yeah, to be honest, I never wanted to do photography at really? all. Like, what made you start? Like, movies and uh, a picture? So I always wanted to do, like, movies. Yeah, movies was one of my big things. But when, the thing I did with photography was, so, uh, you know... I always wanted to be a drawer. I always wanted to learn how to draw and same, stuff, but same. I was ass. Like my damn second, can't agree with that one. <laughs> I can't agree my, with that one. My I second grade cousin got better art with a pen than I do. Okay, but Sheesh. so anyways, I was one day I was just bored at home, you know, listening to like instrumentals and stuff, and I came across on my laptop was a Photoshop tutorial, mm. uh, and they said, hey, you get a free trial, and, you know, if you sign up. So I did the little seven day free trial thing. And I ended up coming up with a picture, one of my first pictures called The Revolution. Okay. And it looked like just like a Dr. King poster. And I was all like, oh, this is pretty dope. So I ended up buying it, playing with it, you know, going through YouTube, searching through tutorials. And I found out like, oh, man, this is, I'm, I'm good at this. This is some digital because yeah. I got family members full of artists. But like I said, when I, when I picked up that, uh, when I did that Photoshop stuff, I was like, yeah, so then I had one another picture with my camera. So I took one with my camera. I'm like, I'm gonna see how far I can go with this. So then I made a picture that made it look like Thanos. Okay, like, I seen that one. I, I know seen that seen one. That yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go buy me a camera. So I went up, picked me up at Canon ADD. Everybody was all like, No, that's too professional. You're not ready for that level. You should start with a beginner camera. I'm all like. Bruh. Get you the best if you aspire to be the best. That's exactly. what I'm saying. I'm all like, why would I start with a beginner camera when I can get the professional camera, learn right. the ins and outs of that, and then so when I do become professional, then I already got a professional camera exactly. with it. Exactly. Like, it's important to start off with the best you can get. Like, when me and Gerardo started off making music, we didn't record off a motherfucking computer microphone. We got an audio tech. Mm-hmm. You know what's funny? I actually did music before. I, really? I made beats and I made and I made a song. I made two songs actually with my brother off Turtle Beach headphones. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I haven't heard that name so. Hey, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I want to give a shout out to the homie Soli Bowl because this man has used the Turtle Beach headphone to record and his audio was nice. I would never have his expected that. His audio was fucking clean. I did not expect that. that yeah, and he used you. bro like. Cold EQ, he's on GarageBand with it, and he used the, t- bruh, like, nigga, that's, that's talent yeah, right there. Shout out to Young Guy Mob, nigga, hold up. Right, right, nah, for real, shouts out to Soli Bowl, man. Yeah. But nah, so, um, like, you, you said you've been doing this for about, like, three years now? Yep, three years now. Have you worked with any locals that people might know? Uh, shoot. Let's see, I've worked with, worked with a few outs, not many locals, but more outside local, like, outside of town people. Right, right. Like okay. I said, one probably local I worked with was uh, Cool Keith. Okay, okay. Yeah. Shouts out. Mainly uh, just photos and stuff like that. But um, so as far as like too many locals, no. That's what I'm trying to get into right now because I haven't really put myself out there like that. Right. More on the photography end, but the videography end, that's what some I've been like getting into, like the VFX and all that. Because like, when I try to do videos, I'm trying to do it like cinematic. I don't want my videos like. No, I feel you on that. Just. 
regular, like, ain't nothing wrong with regular videos, but, you know, I want to have fun. I want them mm-hmm. to have fun with it. I'm, so I want them to, like, have experience. So everything I do is more of an experience. Have you been in Sacramento your whole life? You, I know. I don't know if you're born and raised here. Let the people know where you're from type so, shit. So I'm actually, yeah, raised out here. I came out here when I was 12. So, but mainly I was living in the Bay Area with my mom for a time because I'm originally from here. Born in East Oakland. Okay, okay. Moved Shout out to East Bay. Oakland. Free, Fremont, Hayward. Right. You know, yeah. like, Shout out to the Bay, man. Yeah, our, was, our neighbors. I was jumping around, but yeah, Sacramento is like probably like one of the places I stayed the longest. Hell yeah, hell yeah. How, how have you liked it out here, man? You liked it? or you, I know you've had your, your trials and tribulations everywhere you go. There's trials oh, and yeah, tribulations. Definitely. Like I said, it's something I had to get used to because, like I said, I was just like, when I first moved out here, I'm like, all right, when's the next move? When's the right. next? Because I'm so used to, like, downstairs from city to city. Yeah. Sack is good for that yeah. because, like, moving to Sack is a whole different thing. It becomes home. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. shit is home to me. Mm-hmm. Wasn't born here either. But it's second when my motherfucking home got a tattoo on my Let the people know where you're from, yeah. Free Willy. Oakland. Yeah, because so a, yeah. a lot of people don't know that. My brother. You feel me? Me and Dejan. Yeah. Shouts out. Yeah, day. shouts out to that yeah. boy, Dada. But no, definitely Sacramento was something I had to get used to because, like I said, at first I was just like, I didn't want to be here because, you know, it was just, I felt kind of forced to come over here. Right. But like I said, after a while, like you I said. Were. You were. You were forced. Yep. Yeah. And like I said. You're not going to talk about it. That's yeah. no choice. Yeah. Right. You have no choice. I have no choice. Too many court battles, man. It was like, oh, man. But like I said, when I finally touched down out here, met some cool people. Like I said, made lifelong friendships and connections with people. Like I said, it just started to come home. And usually, like. I wasn't expecting it to come, become home like that. Yeah. No, I, I I feel you on that, man. I've definitely uh, moved around Sacramento myself a lot. I I was one of those kids who went to a school for like a couple years. Like uh, I went to CB Wire for the longest. I went there from second to fifth grade. But other than that, I was at Pacific, uh, Theodore Judah, Union House, where somebody roasted me. I ain't gonna bring their name <laughs> up, but they're famous now. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, Bad too. Yeah, she bad too. I was, she was bad back then too, but fuck that. Also, what's weird about Sacramento is like it's so sectional that if you move to a different place, you damn near move into a different city. Basically, yeah, yeah. no, that's facts. That yeah, is that's so really that's facts because right it's legit. You live in South Sac, and then you move to let's say uh, El Paso Heights. Del Paso Heights. Yeah, it's kind of a different. Yeah, it's definitely a North different Highlands. experience. North Highlands, yeah, let's say that, North or like Atonis, Auburn area. Somewhere. Type shit. It's it's, it's a different it's a it's different a experience. Yeah, yeah, different. Right, it's like Folsom. You, you really need like a car, and you need to be on that bus early because mm-hmm. it ain't like Bay where you got that Barton stuff. Right, you know, twenty four hour bus system. Yeah, sack, man. hell. You got to get to no. a place, and you stay in that place, or you better hit a Uber. Yeah. Right, That's and the earliest that light will run is four thirty. Where do you see yourself going with your career? Do you want to like just keep it local, or are you actually trying to aspire to do something bigger? than the local right now i want to do things local because like i said i had opportunities to move to san diego la vegas like i had a lot of boys tell me oh you should bring your artwork out here will will you get get more of a brighter horizon i got that happened to me right now yeah and but it's like man it's like that's nice and all but like i said everybody's doing that and like i said not really like there's so much talent out here in Sacramento that I fucking just like find your footing first. Yeah, you f- find That's your footing. That's what the homie Mike did with mm-hmm. his photography and shit. And like I, and like I said, I told a bunch of, like I talked to a bunch of artists and stuff, and I tell them like if you have your city behind you, then everything else is just like limitless possibility. I went out one day downtown just having fun. I took a picture of somebody with my camera phone and ended up doing an edit for mm-hmm. them inside of. My uh, the bar I worked at, which was Coin Out. Shouts out to Coin Out. We Shout used to be up in that motherfucker, boy. Out, boy. Yeah, and then, so, anyways, I did a quick picture for him, like editing on my everything through my phone. Like I downloaded the Photoshop app and like a couple of other like apps, and then oh, dude yeah. was like, oh, he's like, damn, this shit is dope. Like he's like, it's dope. And I'm like, yeah, and he I showed him my social media. He's like. Bro, he's like, what you just did for me right now? He said, I don't even give a damn about your social media. He's like, what you just did without any of that fucking equipment? He said, I need that. I got some other shit for you. Now we, we switching up to the random shit. Uh, we was talking about something earlier. That's going to be the second question, the first one. 
I'm going to bring this question back because I feel like this question stumped a lot of people. Would you rather spend 20 years on an island with your mom or someone you were very interested in? And mind you, you're good with supplies. You're good with hospital and shit and whatnot. But you got to really think about this. And so I'm, I don't want to bring up what can possibly happen because I'm giving you 20 years. You can go back to, you know, civilization later. But it's just you guys on this island. You have limited, unlimited supplies. Would you rather be there with your mom for 20 years or a girl you're interested in? Damn. <laughs> See, I have, a, I have an older parent. So, like, time is relative, but it's like time is short. Yeah. Yeah. So, my argument for this question, even though I posed it, I'm the one who asked it. If you go with a girl for 20 years and that you are the only two on the island and that's somebody you have interest in, you know you're fucking and you have no rubbers. So you're going to have kids. You're going to have to raise kids on the island That's away from population and bring them. It, bro, it's 20 years. <laughs> it's 20 hey, years. It's 20 that, years. So like, you're going to so you're gonna have to, bro, I it's going to go that's gonna be a whole life-changing <laughs> oh, experience from them. One year. It's going to be a whole life-changing experience from them to go from living on an island to population. Yeah. You're so that, the kids at that point. Exactly. So that's why I would rather be there with my mom. I'd rather be there with my mom because I don't want to be away on the island with a female for 20 years not knowing that my mom or any of my relatives passed away. I come back and find out all that shit. I'm like, damn, bro. I was over here. All at once. Right. Like, and that's going to be too much to handle. That's going to be a lot to handle. I'd rather be there for that shit. Yeah, I'd rather be there for my mom too because you don't want to be on the island. Like I said, moms get old. Like I said, that's the only time you got and you don't want to waste yeah. that time. But and also, like, you ruining them. If you go with the hypothetical woman, that's a fucked up life for them kids, man. It's a fucked up life for the kids. They, Twenty years, and then they go and go to civilization, and the civilization is fucked up. We don't know what's going on because yeah, we're right. away from everything, and so it's already come bad. Out the loop. Yeah, and then you, there's things you got to put into perspective too. Them kids you gonna really be weird live, as shit. They gonna be twenty she years gonna be old. Weird gonna shit. Be old. You know, she's she gonna have these little funky attitudes sometimes. And sometimes so you gotta understand, hey, you gotta yeah, deal with hey, that. Where you wanna go when y'all get an argument mm-hmm. to the other side of the beach, nigga? <laughs> and bitch, you stay over there. Right. No, I'll be over here. Don't cross this problem. line. Yep. <laughs> It's a bunch of perspectives. If, if, you, if you can think, actually draw a line in the sand, don't you see, cross we, this. We, we probably going to have 17 kids, and I don't want that many kids. Cause, right. But I'm going to let you know. If I, I'm on a – yeah, I can't do At what point do you years. stop? This is this is kind of on a music tip. Who are your top five favorite rappers? Oh, shit. Woo! Jesus Christ. If, 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 if top five is too hard – we can make it top 10 just to make it a little easier on you so you can throw in some people. So are we talking like mixture of old school and old school? Yep. Or just All everything, time. Everything. Whole life everything. Whole life everything. everything yeah. my daily, I have to say, in my rotation, you already know Pac. You can't. Right. Rest. I got to throw my boy Pac in Rest in peace, man. Uh, shit. Eminem. Eminem. You know, that's my, yeah. that's my boy. You can't really, like, people be trying to discredit my boy. You can't discredit him. He, he too deadly. Back. Let's go. Um, I'll say Jay Z. Jay Z, you can't fuck with Jay Z. You know he's not a new artist. Uh, Nas. I said the game. The game. Okay, I, that's a fair one. That's fair. That's yeah. hella fair. Go ahead, roll with yours. All right, so Andre three thousand. Yep. You feel me? Big boy still look great. Mm-hmm. Killer Mike. Kill- mm-hmm. Oh yep, yep. Killer Mike go crazy. Me extra lyrical. Mm-hmm. I'm fucking. Kendrick. That's three. Kendrick. Surprise entry. Childish Gambino. Oh. Yeah, Childish. Hell no, nah, bro. It's anyway. Hell, <laughs> yeah. Surprise entry. Open this motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. That red bone, that shit be putting me to after sleep. After we watch you Will, you still good. gonna say that shit? Atlanta, that's my show. After after that interview, after that shit we watched, you still gonna say that? Yeah. Oh, wow. You disrespectful, bro. This and is the podcast. I don't want to miss one. I don't want to fuck it up. I'm old. But I'm, I'm going to stay unpopular, you feel me? It's going to be unfair. This is great. How are you going to put Childish Gambino before Drake, though? See, it's a whole different thing. See, I used to like Drake, but... They do the know. same thing, bro. Is that, is that a thing? Drake got too damn sensitive for me. Here's the grassy side starting to show me. And Childish Gambino's more experimental. You yeah. know what I mean? Like stealing people's shit. 
Like Drake don't. It, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They do the same Drake, thing. Drake. Experiment to other people's shit. You know what I mean? Drake got work you can put out. That's Hip-hop fair. Hip-hop is built on sample. Yeah. That's like true. Said, Drake, but you don't have to. You don't, like you don't Drake, have to I sample. Lie, I feel like this is probably going to be the best top five of the night. XCVI. 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 XCVI and then SS yeah, beat him. So, I put myself four times on the list and beat him last on that list. As long as 6 9 ain't on none of y'all lists. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. No, that was a, that was no, a stupid no, list. Exactly. Beat him, that nigga no, beat him. That shit had me weak as fuck, bro. I was mad when he did that to me, bro. I was like, yeah, why? Oh, that nigga had it. <laughs> but no, nah, I think my top five definitely. Wayne's in my top five for surely. Um... Just and I don't even listen to Wayne like that. It's just his wordplay is crazy. That sky at the limit still my shit. Yeah, for real. Kendrick's oh, in my top five. Yes, oh, misunderstood fuck. is fire, bro. Nigga Huster music. Right. I'm taking so, Drake out. Let's go Wayne. Respectable. So I got sorry, Wayne. Man. I got who else did I say? I didn't. I said uh, Wayne first. Then I said Kendrick because Kendrick's dope. And, and you know what's crazy about this? These people I'm naming, I really don't even listen to like that. Jesus Christ. Like, it's just, but I, I used to, like, but now I don't listen to people's shit no more because I'm so focused on my shit and our shit. What about Flatbush Zombies? I would have to say Eric's the best out of all of them. And he's on my top five, too. No, he's in my top ten. Eric's in my... Me is the best to me out of all of them. So, all right, so my... Yeah. All right, let me get back to my nah, list, though, because I'm losing, I'm losing track. Um, Wayne. Kendrick. Um... I'm going to have to, I want to name one more old school person on there. Um, and this shit is Big L, bro. Ooh. Big L. Yeah. Um, I have two separate lists for old school, though. Yeah, that's what, see, yeah was, no, that's what I'm saying. But I, I had to throw him on there, though, Jay-Z, bro. Just because if I'm Jay-Z throwing people with like, bars like that. Old school goat, Jay-Z. Yeah, I could. But see, that's the thing. Jay-Z was low-key biting off Big L low-key. But that was his. They that was his. That was area. yeah. That's his big homie too, bro. So it's like, that it's I get it. Like, man, yeah. Lingo, like motherfucking. What I like about old school hip hop is it was so New York that a lot of big rappers went to school together, like Big right. Jay Z, Busta Rhymes. Right. Went to school together. So Big L is my third. So um, I miss Bust, man. His music videos was crazy. What do you mean you For miss real. Bust? That nigga still going fucking. But nah, his videos ain't the same, bro. His videos, videos ain't the same as they were back in the day. Like, Wearing them. Bro. Weird ass how outfits. Money, how much money did those videos cost? Two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. Andre, <laughs> no, you Missy know, Elliott. About the budgets was crazy back then. Yeah. For that, mm, let me stop. Anyways, let me get back to the list though. So Big L's three. Uh, somebody new. Ah shit. Um, I'm gonna just say my fifth is Nicholas F. I gotta put that up there because who I no I have to say that because. I have to say that before who I put because I can't put them before him because they are a little bit better and more established. And no disrespect to Nicholas F, bro, because you got bars like a motherfucker. You still on the top five. Yeah, Yeah, Nas is fourth. That's what I was going to say. Nas is fourth. Where's Jay-Z at? Jay Z's not on my top five, you know, but he's I, he's list, got man. bars, but so like a motherfucker. Over, and I listen to Hov. That's the thing. Over Jay-Z? I listen to Hov. That's the thing. That's why I said these people were on my list are people that I can admire, and I know that I've heard their work, and it's just like, bro, they're dope. And Jay Z's in my top ten for surely. Why didn't no trap rappers make anybody else's list? Because they Y'all don't take it. Gucci on that. <laughs> Gucci makes sense. That shit. Yeah. If we All right. Soldier Boy. We getting some social creative, you, creative Gucci, motherfucker. Gucci, Gucci need his love. Yeah, but nah, man. Uh, um, uh, uh, you yo, hey, you got no water. Yeah, nah, you good, bro. We actually gotta get it closed down because we getting close to an hour. We trying to keep it nice and compact for you guys because I know some of my uh, recent episodes there were two hours and shit. It was nice to have you on smoking with X, even though you don't smoke and you know. You know, let I'm the people, stay. yeah, let the people know where they can find you, uh, all your social medias, your email if you even want to give it out, just so people can, you know, hit you up for some work and stuff. Uh, you can find me at King Leo ninety four. That's on. Instagram. And we're gonna end it right there. Yeah, I'm fucking with you. 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 Go ahead. I'm like, do you want the elbow now or? Later? <laughs> nah, but you can find me on Instagram at King Leo ninety four. Rest of social media will be up later, coming November. Being vulnerable is dangerous. Yeah, we can't end this now. We ain't. We don't care. I'm fucking with you. Nah, that shit's gonna go. 
It's gonna be hard. Wear yeah. condoms during COVID. Being vulnerable is dangerous. Anytime. Don't get trapped. trapped. Same syllables. But also believe it or not. Take. Wear condoms during COVID. Being vulnerable it's is dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> tag. Uh, oh, yeah, no, 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 don't COVID. do that yet. Don't do that yet. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. I'll give you the cue. Because the cue is going to be what I usually say at the end. Yeah. This has been Smoking With X, where we always talk about that real, real shit. shit. Mm-hmm.